lot of different career paths in genetics. I think, you know, I always have, uh, when I do career talks, I tell people about, I call it the central dogma of like a career of a scientist, where you go on, you get a PhD, and then you go and you get a postdoc, and then you go and you become an assistant professor. And I kind of break this up into like transcription and translation and, and DNA replication, well, DNA replication, transcription, and translation as the, the central dogma. But you know, the reality is, is that when it comes to genetics or really any career in science, there are plenty of careers that don't follow that kind of like trajectory, that traditional trajectory. Some of those careers include, you know, um, advocacy. So working in government, working in um, the legislature, especially is coming increasingly important for genetics as, you know, technologies like CRISPR have been developed and as we start integrating genomics into our healthcare systems. Bioinformatics, so that's where I work, uh, population genetics and bioinformatics and other careers include communication. So. I, you know, while I'm a bioinformatician during the day, at night, and on the weekend, I am a podcaster. And so science communication is extremely important, particularly for um, if we are thinking about how do we make genomics normalized, how do we make genomics for everyone. We really need a task force of science communicators to, you know, really change the way in which we talk about genetics to make it more accessible to all communities globally. And I think what we have to remember when we talk about careers is that these things can coexist, right? I think a lot of people don't, uh, we don't teach students enough that careers in genetics can coexist. You can be a science communicator on the weekends like I am and a bioinformatician during the week. It's about carving out the career that suits your interests and I strongly believe if you listen to your interests and find a path in which you can take your traditional, formal, academic training and incorporate that into your, I call it passion project, but things that you're interested in, you'll be fulfilled and you're likely gonna show that fulfillment through your work. Thanks again for watching, and if you'd like to watch more clips like this, go ahead and click on some of the links to my side for more exciting content from this year's ASHG virtual meeting.